Hi there. Going to do a quick tutorial on getting TDP control on Chimera OS. Now there are two options for TDP control on Chimera OS. The first one would be um, there's going to be a Decky plugin. So if I pull up Decky, you can see that I have this power control plugin, and this power control plugin has per game profiles, um, CPU boost, and lets you control TDP here. Um, so this is one option for TDP control, um, which we'll be setting up. But then there's also Sometimes the Decky plugins uh, break when Steam updates, when there's an operating system update, sometimes it doesn't work. And in that case, we, we're gonna set up a backup TDP option as well. So the backup TD op TDP option, you could just go into, I'll just show it to you here. It's, it's a non-Steam game. There's this app called, or is it Simple Ryzen TDP? And this one gives you just a very simple TDP bar, um, which does this exact same thing, right? Um, but in this case, this is just purely as a backup option in case Decky for some reason breaks, which does happen occasionally. Um, so with that getting started, well with that, let's get started. So let's go to the desktop mode. So on the Chimera OS wiki, there's a page for TDP controls, and there's actually a third option for TDP controls, which is called Open Gamepad UI, but I'm going to skip that one today because it's still experimental and early and in early stages of development. So there could be a little buggy. So I'm going to skip that one for now. So in this case, first, what we need to do is we're going to set up this, uh, the power control plugin. So here you could see uh, there's a picture of that power control plugin. And for to get this started, we want to first install Decky Loader. So if you go to the Decky Loader GitHub down here, um, there's install instructions, but these instructions you can ignore. Instead, you should use the the fast install instruction here. So I use this fast ins install instruction. I'm going to copy it and paste it into a, a terminal. So if I pull up a console and then paste it and run it, it'll prompt you for it should prompt you for a super, uh, super user password. And on Chimera OS, the default password is gamer. So if you just type that in. It will install uh, Decky Loader. So let's just let that complete. And now it's done. So now that that's finished installing, we go back to this link. There will now be this power control plugin that we need to download. So go to this link and download the latest release. The latest release as of this video is 0 .0, 0 0.05. So just download this archive. And then what you could do is let's just open the folder, show in folder. And here what we need to do is we need to extract this. So extract that, then cut this, um, cut this, and then go into home. Homebrew, plugins, and paste that here. I've already placed it here since it's already installed, but you just gotta paste it here. Once that's done, the plugin should work after you reboot the machine, but instead of rebooting, we're just gonna continue and install that backup option as well. Now for that backup option, if you go back to that Wikipedia page, there's this section for simple Ryzen TDP. There's an install guide on its GitHub page. So if you go there, and if you uh, scroll down, there will be a Chimera OS install instruction instructions. So you could use the video here, um, but I'll just go through it right now really quick. There's going to be an install script. So you could go to, go to the install script, uh, hit raw. So it gives you the raw file and right click and hit save as and save this to your work. I'm just going to save the downloads. I already have a download in here, but you can see, um, just save it to downloads. Uh, let's replace it. And now that it's downloaded, let's just go to the, the location. Now here, let's right click open in console. This will open up a terminal in that window, I mean in that location. And just to make sure we're in the right place, if you type in ls, it'll type show you a list of everything that's installed there, right? So in this case, there's this Chimera OS install script that we downloaded. So for what, first, what we're gonna do is do chmod plus x Chimera OS install. So what that does is that it just makes the file executable. So we can actually run it as a program. So just hit enter. Cool. And then next we need to run it. We need to actually run the thing. So right, Chimera OS install. And what that will do is that will download all the files you need, install all of them, etc., etc. So just give it a moment and it will finish up. Now that that script is finished running, we need to run it one more time. But this time we need to run it with, uh, with sudo as a super user. And they'll just set up some more extra permissions for us. So if we type in the, the super user password, which by default is gamer, gamer, type that in, and then it has um, fin uh, fixed up whatever else needs to be fixed up. 
So now if we look in our uh, applications and look for simple Ryzen, it should pop up um, the actual app. So I have it installed twice because I already had it previously installed. My old installation, I'll remove it later. Uh, but basically when you click it, it should pop up with the simple Ryzen TDP um, information. I mean, app, and it should just work. Cool. So that's that. So let's just close this all out, close it all out. And the last thing to do now is that we need to actually add the Simple Rising TDP app to Steam as a non-Steam game. So click to add game, add a non-Steam game, scroll through the list and find your Simple Rising TDP. Um, click it and just add it to Steam. So that way um, in game mode, you could access it. Um, and then besides that, let's just reboot the machine and see how it goes. So back in game mode, after rebooting the machine, you should be able to, in your in your Decky plugin, see Power Control. And then if we go to our library and go down to non-Steam non -steam games, there should be the Simple Ryzen app as well. Okay. So, and then finally here, we want to set up the controls for this so that you could actually manipulate, mani manipulate this with um, your controller. So in that case, you could go to your controller settings. And let's edit our layout. And then here we need to have up be sh shift tab. So let's just add a sub command. Now this should be under keyboard tab. And then we have the primary action be a shift. So that's for up. For down, we need to have it be a tab on the keyboard. And then for the directional inputs, we need to have this be left and right. And I'll explain why it needs to be like this in a moment. So we go here. Cool. So now when you click tab on a keyboard, if you were doing this in desktop mode, it would go on to the next input, whereas shift tab goes backwards. So you just need the tab and shift tab to go back and forth. And the left and the right is just to manipulate the TDP. Cool. So that's that. Just exit this non theme game and let's just try out these options in an actual game so we know the TDP works. Mm, what's a good game for this? So here, here's Final Fantasy VII Remake. And currently it's at 15 watt TDP, and you can see it has a steady 30 FPS. If I go into the menu, I'm going to Decky, just make sure this works by, let's just dial down the, the TDP down to like five watts, and the TD, and the FPS should just go down. So you can see the FPS being affected, going all the way down to 13 FPS. And then if I bring it back to 15, it's now working fine. Um, you could also test the same with the, um, with the backup app. I'm just going into our library and go into our non skin games and pull up the simple Ryzen TDP app. I know it's at 15 watts. Let's dial this down to like five, right? And if we go back to, oh, you already feel this, the sluggishness. Oh, 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 that's bad. Yep, but you can see it uh, go down to dipping back down. So let's just move the TDP back up. Now it's back to normal. There you go. Um, that's it for TDP control on Chimera OS.